Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today's upload is going to be a long range outlook. I just finished doing a live stream, literally. I just finished doing one. And I decided to record a video because for those that missed the live stream, I just want to update you on uh, the stuff that's going on. So there's a severe weather outbreak going on across Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, and Texas. So if you live in any of those city uh, states, you definitely want to take a little bit of precaution today. And the next couple coming up days, so uh, be st you know be be watchful, diligent about that. Um, what just happened? I apologize about that. Um, this just uh, I don't know what happened with this recording screen. Um, let's try moving it back over. All right. So basically, uh, what's gonna be going on is the is uh, cooler weather. Not really cooler, just a gradual warm up for many locations and very hot for the southeast. So that's the main thing I want to focus on. So if you go to the south, go to two meter temperature shaded, um, we see extremely warm temperatures across the southeast. Uh, let's go to uh, temperature anomalies, which tell us where it is above or below. Uh, sorry, let's first look at two meter temperature shaded, then we'll look at anomalies. Um, so right now we're looking at the shaded. I just want to tell you, show you some of these temperatures. Look at that, 90s, hundreds across a lot of the southeast and this is uh you know what people like and some people don't like but uh you know the humidity is also adding in the factor and you can see 100 even hotter than 100 110 degrees in some areas a ridiculous warmth for the southeast and it's just continues this is wednesday this is thursday this is friday and that's how much this old a uh, new model run goes out to let's go to the old sorry about that old model run and you can see it's still continuing 95 94 across parts of the southeast and south so um then it starts uh, spreading across into more, more areas into the texas and the west and notice how it gets really hot across the southwest so that could be also a, a cause for concern but notice also how it's pretty chilly in the midwest um it's gonna be warm for uh a, a bit but then if we go to the two meter temperature anomaly and look at it from a uh different angle different perspective Later on, we may be looking at uh, some cooler conditions. So right now, it's very cool across the west. And you can see that it's basically straggling this line between hot and or warmer and a cooler than average. Across the Wisconsin line, uh, central Iowa and Nebraska, and you can see some days, depending on how strong the storms are, which are coming from the south, it's going to be warmer. Some days, it's going to be cooler for these areas. But then anything south of that, it's going to be warm. Anything north of that, it's going to be fairly chilly. And you can see this then, uh, Thursday, May 30th, uh, warm across much of the country other than the central part. During the nights, though, it gets pretty chilly. And uh, this is Friday, this is June, and uh, now we're going into June, and notice how the southeast isn't as hot anymore. And nowhere there is, uh, there is no place where it's like insanely hot. It's just nice and warm above average, a little bit cooler across the Midwest. And this area, you know, kind of stays and doesn't really want to move uh, across the Midwest. And you may seem like it's gone, but then you can see it's kind of back. And it's going to be back and forth, basically. Uh, some days cooler, some days warmer, around average for the Midwest, I would say. Southeast, definitely above average, definitely way above average for now. But it will get uh, cooler or uh, just a little bit, you know, closer to average, I should say, which would get cooler. So if your average is 85 degrees, you'll be, more, more, you know, looking more at 85 rather than 100 degrees. Notice how in uh, hour 384, we are looking at uh, quite a bit of, uh, you know, not as cold, hot temperatures. We're even seeing some slightly cooler anomalies, but then the West gets really hot. So uh, we'll just have to keep an eye for that. Uh, uh, in terms of, let's go to precipitation and moisture, let's just show you total accumulated precipitation, Three, uh, 384, uh, plenty of rainfall, uh, definitely not a shortage across uh, the plains and north and the south, maybe a little bit less of the rain, which is good, but not too good because you're seeing really hot temperatures, so everything is drying out really quickly. However, um, you know, these locations really don't need the rain in the Midwest, they've been seeing so much <clears throat> rain that they need to dry out and they'll be seeing a little bit less uh, maybe two to four inches across the most locations but some could definitely still see six seven inches if they're under you know a thunderstorm day after day and they get unlucky let's go to the uh eight to 14 day outlook and see what uh what shows up so again uh 
I, I wouldn't say that it's anywhere's gonna like I mentioned. There's not gonna be insanely below average at one given location. I think it's gonna be. Uh, you can see warm across the southern two thirds of the country, and a little closer to normal across the north. Um, not hot but not below average, so not chilly. So if your average is 75, you'll be around 75. Uh, if you're in the south and your average is 85, you'll be maybe closer to 90, because a little bit above average. Keep in mind though that this could definitely still change. Um, these conditions, um, this, this is just a probability. So this could, uh, you know, move up a little bit. This could go down. Um, we could even see some areas that are below average go into above average or vice versa. In terms of precipitation, above average for the eastern half, uh, which, you know, isn't really good, but the west is going to be, northwest is going to be below average, which also technically isn't a good thing. Because um, if, I, I, if, I, if I recall, they've been under, uh, they've been fairly cold for, or fairly below average for the past um, couple of, you know, time for a uh, couple of weeks. And uh, no, notice, this is the 6 to 10 day outlook, so from June 1st to June 5th, we are looking at uh, the very warm conditions across the southeast. Notice how it's very high probability. But across the Midwest, it's also a little bit chillier and across the Northwest. And the warm air is uh, reaching to about the same areas where it was earlier. So just south of Chicago, uh, Minneapolis, and uh, Michigan, and Indiana. But, you know, this this could definitely still change. This isn't set in stone. So, uh, you know, if you're missing out on uh, warm temperatures right now, don't be upset because it's only June. And by the time October comes, they think you'll be sick of it because... Uh, you know, it's it's just every time. No matter if the, even if the summer is cooler than average for a certain region, if you live in that region, I don't know. They say maybe the northeast will be cooler than average, which I, I'm not too sure if they will be. But if they are, uh, then you'll still see 90s and very warm temperatures for several days. But it will just be a little bit less than average. But I um, mean, you, you know, don't worry. You'll definitely see, still see your fair share, and it stays above average for quite a good chunk of the country excluding the northwest which again is not good because they've been they're gonna continue to stay below average in the 8 to 14 day outlook and then the, uh, around the gulf coast states could be a little bit uh, below average so it's basically i just want to give you guys a quick update on the long range the temperatures um summer is finally setting in and it looks like uh you know the temperatures are not gonna be uh cold no more frost at this point it doesn't look seem and uh, we'll be, we're looking at a fairly nice uh, 8 to 14 day outlook. No hurricanes. Um, no. After the, these next couple of days, the severe weather seems to calm down. But again, that's just the models. It, it's speculation. This could, you know, we only need a couple of individual storms to uh, fire up. Not even predicted by the models or the storm prediction center, and we could get, uh, you know, we could quickly get a, uh, a, a a outbreak or a damaging, you know, a damaging outbreak, which could change a course. Of what, the, of what the week or the day was known for. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, consider subscribing, consider liking the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. See ya. Bye.